never heard of, but I found it on Facebook, and this one is being done by like an actual business. So I have higher expectations than usual. On their Facebook page, it says they have a they have a parking lot strictly for supercars and exotic cars, and there's one for muscle and tuner cars. I still don't know what my car is. Because, like, it's supposed to be a sports car, but back in the day it was a muscle car. I don't know. I just, I just roll with it. Anyways. So, yeah. It's, like, 50 degrees out. It is, like, stupid foggy out. If you can see in front of me, there should be a mountain there. There is not. Yeah, so... I know we're on the road, but we're gonna stop and get gas, and then we're gonna hit the road and go on to the car show. So I shall see you guys there. Yeah. All right, guys. So in turn of events, I forgot we had to go through the tunnel. So this is gonna be a windows down kind of thing. No. Yes. Yeah. I've never taken my car through the tunnel, so this should be fun. And three, two, one, downshift. if you want to call it. I don't know. Is that what you would call this? No. The general admission is somewhere over there. Anyways. We're only yeah, we're only here a half hour early. Not even early. A half hour after it started. There's some pretty cool stuff here. Like, I parked next to this SS, which has a racing slick on it. And there's a Chevelle SS, which is pretty wicked. Yeah, so... We're gonna walk over and see what supercars are here, if there are any yet. So, yeah. I did. This guy left his finger out. I don't know what it is, but he left his finger hanging out. It's probably pretty cold in the wind, but. Oh well, that's his problem. <laughs> I would take this home. That there's a lot of that. Does it? There's a little turbo. So this thing makes like 1200 horsepower. That's like enough to make me cry. This one's my favorite. Your favorite? I love it. Oh. It's this one's up there, but it's not quite my favorite. So pretty good. There's other ones. I just love by the way they're built, so I don't know anything about them. Well, that too. I mean, I it's not gonna lie, it's a great looking car, obviously. But I would, I would rather have this one. Look at the paint. The 
driving down this car probably cost as much as my entire house. Like, oh god, I'm gonna die. Like, just look how nasty the rear end of this car looks. Those exhaust pipes are ridiculous. I do. I, I probably do, but you know. And uh, the roof scoop. Everybody loves those for whatever reason. <laughs> this thing looks crazy from all angles. I thought this was your favorite car. Huh? I thought this was your favorite car. It is a pretty color. It is. I'm still. I'm just not a fan of the I actual mean, car. I usually don't like yellow, but it's kind of a highlighter yellow. Yeah, it's, it's not like it's kind actual of yellow. I like. It. I don't know. It's cool. It brings out all like the lines in the car, but I still. I'm. I'm still not a huge fan of the C8s. I'd still rather have a C7. Oh, you're so. I know. I know. Call me a purist, but I'm not. This color is nuts. Oh. Uh, I don't think it's a color. I think it's a wrap. It is. You what? Can see it on the yeah. Oh yeah. You can see it. It's a wrap, but it's still ridiculous. Let me have this dumb thing. Be fast. Be safe. That is. That's not true. Oh no. It has a GM engine. I thought it had a Ford engine. This guy knows what he's doing. It's not just one ZL1 Camaro, it's, there's two of them, and my god, it's a Callaway. Like, what I want to understand is, how does a ZL1 and a Callaway ZL1 not make it into the actual show when Audis and BMWs do? It's like, super good. <laughs> They aren't super, though. This is more of a super car. I don't know. I don't get it. But yeah, it, it's ridiculous to not only see one ZL1, but see two of them and one of them be a Callaway. Which was one's your favorite? Your way. You were. Which one's your favorite? I like the dark blue. I do too. I like the dark blue one. This is a pretty color. Yeah, this is also a pretty color, but it's it's a wrap, so it's not real. Mm. This. Nice, this. It. it it couldn't even have a collar, but as long as it says that on the side, 
and has that through the hood. I want it. I want it. I want all of it. for like toddlers. I mean, unless the seats are just really far back to get in the car, which I could see. Yeah, I don't know. I'll tell you in five years when I own one. I can do it. Not really.
my god. How did we miss that? What? Oh. The twin turbo the Gyardo next to it? How did you learn to miss that? whatever you want to call it that has a roll cage oh this thing is stupid this thing is stupid oh my gosh I'm not sure but that might be the world's smallest turbo right there oh this thing's got to be terrifying to drive or just stupid fun All right guys, so that was the end, or we're done with car show now. I think that's the end of the vlog. We're just gonna go, we're gonna go home. I doubt we're gonna pass anything cool on the way home, but if we do, I'll try to videotape that. Maybe try to be stupid with it. We'll see what happens. So what was your favorite car? I forgot what it was called. Oh yeah, you liked the Underground Racing Super Legera. That was fun. That thing was stupid, 1200 horsepower. Can't believe it. It was so cute. But uh, yeah, speaking of favorite cars, why don't you guys tell me what your favorite car is? Drop a comment down in the comment section and just let me know, because I'm curious. Because I like every, I like just about everything there. But I have different likes than everybody else, because I'm weird, I'm different, yeah. 
All right, so yeah, I will see you guys in another vlog. Peace out.